And obviously, you've been talking a bit about how you're single now. Yeah. How's that all going? So I'm single. I've been single for about um, six weeks now. And it goes well sometimes, but then it sometimes goes bad as well. It's a mixture of the both. I'm looking forward to when all the badness is gone. And I read an article where it said that you had like a text breakup or something. Is that true? Yeah, well, it kind of, it didn't end face to face. It ended kind of through text. So it wasn't the nicest way. I would have thought it would be a bit better than that. But... And is there anyone that you've kind of got your eye on? Have you had a little think about someone you might want to be texting? I've never thought about that yet, no. I've not thought, I've, I've not, nah, no one. I'm not texting anyone currently. I don't want to ever be texting anyone again, to be honest. You see, most people say the best way to get over someone is to be distracted by someone else. That is the best way, I totally agree. When I was filming Jordy Shaw, I was totally distracted all the time because I was in a house with nine other people. I came out and it slapped us in the face because I was by myself but I'm not ready to, to get involved with any of the boys yet. But you actually seem like completely fine, like you seem pretty... Yeah, yeah, I'm doing well, aren't I? Yeah. You didn't want to see us yesterday. I was a nervous wreck, I was a mess. I was crying on my bed. Holly didn't even give us a hug. She was sitting texting. I was like, oh, I just, what am I gonna do? And she was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Like, thanks, Holly. But you seem really good. Like, have you got any little tips for your fans about getting over a breakup? There's, there's, there's very big tips I've got is you have to tell all of your friends not that the, their name, so for example, Mitch, is never to be mentioned again. I don't want to know what he's doing. I don't want to know what photos you've seen of him on Twitter. I don't want to know what tweets he's done. I don't want to know who he's with. If you've seen something, keep it to yourself because it's not going to help us get over him. It's going to make us more sad. It's going to make us more upset and it's going to make us want to get in touch with him. Block him on everything, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, no contact, try and keep them out of your mind, it's the easiest way, but it's also hard 